Okay, so today we're gonna make this a letter S, which takes quite a bit of steps in order to achieve this interesting 3D effect, but I'm gonna guide you through, so let's begin. I'm gonna swap it from field to stroke. Make sure you don't have anything in the field. Click on the stroke. I gotta go with black. Let's select the rectangle. I gotta make it around it like this. And I'm gonna press and hold Alt, create a new copy. Select the direct selection tool, delete this anchor point at the right, and then the bottom anchor point at the left. So it looks something like this. And now I gotta select the bottom half circle. What is that called? I'm gonna zoom in. And let's select the pen tool, press on minus. And I'm gonna click on this anchor point and it's gonna disappear. So now we're left with this shape. And now I'm gonna double click on this one. This is going to highlight it and select the pen tool, press on minus, delete this anchor point, double click release, select the pen tool again, and let's connect these two half circles. Now we're forming a letter S. I can increase the stroke thickness and I also gonna make the cap rounded. Let's increase the stroke. And I gotta recustomize the endings of the letter S. So I gonna select the direct selection tool select the bottom anchor point here and drag it out. I'm also going to do on this one. There you go. Select it, go to object, expand, click OK. And now we got the letter S. I'm going to swap it from field to stroke. There you go. From here, I'm going to select the direct selection tool and I'm going to select the two anchor points from here. So this one, this one, and I'm going to go to the properties and select cut path at select anchor point. Click on it and I'm going to do the same thing with the bottom one. Cut paths and I'm going to right click on group. So we got these cut in some pieces. I'm going to select these two central lines, the long ones. Going to go to object, go to blend. Select make. I'm gonna double click on the blend tool, select specify steps. I'm gonna increase the numbers to three. Click OK. Go to object, expand appearance, click OK. Right click on group. And now I'm gonna work with this half circle. Press Ctrl C and then Ctrl F, or you can go to edit. Paste in front. This is going to paste another copy on the top. I'm gonna press and hold Shift and I'm gonna scale it from here until they're gonna intersect with this line. Press Ctrl C, Ctrl F again, intersected with this line, and again Ctrl C, Ctrl F, intersected with the top line. There you go. I'm gonna delete the bottom half circle. I'm gonna select these half circles, press and hold Alt, right click, transform, reflect, click on vertical, click OK, and I'm gonna position it right here. Good. Now it comes the exciting part, which is gonna be a little bit more difficult. So we're gonna need a couple of copies from this stroke line here, because this stroke line is going to be connected, for example, with the small circle and this line right here. So it's gonna create a shape. And then these lines are also gonna go and be connected. And then we're gonna need a copy of this stroke line again, and a copy for these guys also and for the biggest ones also. So we're going to need three copies because we already have one. So I'm going to press Ctrl C, Ctrl F, F, F. So this way it created one, two, three, and four copies. Now I'm going to select one of these, press and hold Shift. I'm going to select this small half circle. I'm going to select also press and hold Shift and select this shape too and select also this shape. I'm going to right click, group. And what I'm going to do now is just double click on this shape that we created. This one here, you can see it highlighted. And I'm going to zoom in and we got these shapes up, of course separated and we're going to connect these. So I'm going to select the direct selection tool. So select these anchor points which are disconnected. Let's go to the properties and click on connect selected and points. So it's going to be connected and I'm going to connect them one by one. There you go. So this way we have this shape going on. Now we're going to do the rest of the shapes as well. But as you can see, this one is on the top and we cannot select which is under. So what I got to do is right click on this arrange send to back. So now I can select, for example, one of these stroke lines. So I got to select it, press and hold shift. Also select the biggest, bigger circle and select all the shapes, right click group. I got to double click. So it's going to highlight and do the same thing with the rest. So now everything is connected and it looks some like this. And from here, I'm going to select it. Let's go to the properties and let's go down, click on these three dots and let's select the divide. 
Let's basically cut this shape in pieces, right click on group. It should look something like this. I'm gonna select them all, swap it from stroke to fill. I'm gonna select some colors for these like that, select them all. Let's go to the 3DM materials. If you don't have it, you can go to windows. Where is that 3DM materials? And we're gonna go to objects and we're gonna inflate. All right, let's go to the material now. I'm going to increase this to 0.29 and 0.12. I'm also going to activate the ray tracing. I'm also going to go back to the object, decrease the depth to 0 and increase the perspective and do the same thing with the rest. And I'm going to rearrange these a bit and distort it. And look at that. And this is how you make this 3D shape in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.